renovation spending soars. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because we're going to look at an article from ABC discussing how home renovations are soaring. Now I kind of thought that was part of the whole deal with Home Builder where they're handing out money to offset the huge increase in material costs that you're going to experience as the government hands out money to build houses. Now you've got to understand government intervention for this has not been to help people get homes. It's not, uh, we shouldn't be putting into social housing because it'll give more homes. All they care about is stimulating the economy, juicing up the economy. You give 15 grand to someone, they have to chuck in their own 150 grand. You've just magnified that government spending 10 times. And then you get it all back in GST anyway. You put it into social housing, you only get that 15 grand kick in the economy and their construction is much more expensive. So that's the reason why it happened. And that's why, if you want to stimulate the economy, this is smarter than putting it in social housing. Probably the only architect that's brave enough to say that publicly, but anyway. Home renovation spending soared to $12 billion as lockdown Aussies extend, beautify their houses. Well, yes, that's right. Every time you go to Bunnings, it's flat out. Australians have spent more on home renovations during the pandemic years than at any other time since records began 50 years ago. Wow. Wow, that's that's insane. New data shows how house proud we've become, particularly once the initial shock of the pandemic began to wear off. As COVID landed, spread, and paralyzed much of Australian life, with state and international border closures and entire cities locked down, we began spending more on renovations, up 10%, to 9.2 billion. But last year, it must have felt safer to bet the house, with Australian Bureau of Statistics figures showing renovations poured a massive 12.3 billion into, into renovating their homes, up 33% on 2020. That's almost double what we spent on renovations just 10 years ago. Alongside the pandemic forcing us to stay home was the Federal Home Builder Scheme that paid out between 15 and 25 grand to those willing to undertake a major renovation. It was designed as a stimulus measure in response to COVID, and since its launch, almost 25,000 renovators have applied. But not everyone was driven by the promise of free money. Others were already designing their dream renovations before COVID arrived. Morgan McGannon was one of them, and she was not about to allow once-in-a-lifetime pandemic to derail her plans, from a tired beach shack to a stunning dream house. Her family bought the seaside home on the Sunshine Coast 10 years ago for 400 grand. In 2019, they'd already begun planning to convert their aging beach shack into a two story home with water views. Miss McGahan said moving did not feel like an option because this was the only home her seven year old son Watson and five year old daughter Evelyn had known. This is a real special spot for us. We got married out on the beach. We bought our brought our two babies home here. We knew that that's what we wanted to do, to renovate and build on what we'd already created, just with a little bit more room for the kids. Demolition at the Golden Beach site began just as Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk and Chief Health Officer Jeanette Young ordered the entire state to stay home and that most businesses being shut down. Although building could continue, they could not escape the specter of COVID. We didn't know if we'd have any job security, she said. Once we had realized that we were safe in our jobs and that, yes, we can actually pay for this renovation and with what's going on and all the craziness, it continued to flow from there. Oi, mate, we're flat out. Zane uh, McCarthy from Top Plate Building was the renovator building behind their project. He said it was no surprise to him that renovation numbers were breaking records. Oi, mate, we're flat out. We got inquiries, probably two or three a week, and everyone's renovating, he said. He said people were watching their house values go up, but it was often not enough to buy something bigger. I think everyone's at home watching their house values go up and thinking, I can borrow some money here, and to buy a new house somewhere else is just not affordable. Mr. McCarthy said one of his projects was a major renovation so the daughter could live nearby. They looked at house prices in the area and it wasn't affordable so they're renovating this place and they're all staying together so what happens when all the cheap homes are gone the housing crisis 
across parts of the country is now critical, with those unable to buy also being turned away from the rental market. Pastor Dale Dowler from the Shack Community Centre in Queensland's Sunshine Coast has spent decades working with those either sleeping rough or at risk of homelessness. He said the rise in renovations meant might mean higher rents for homeowners, but it also meant fewer affordable homes for those who needed it. People are investing in homes and they're putting it back onto the rental market, but it's, it's priced a, a lot the community out of the market. We have families that are still sending their kids to school, but they're living in vans. And he used himself as an example after paying to renovate his own home so his children had a place to call home. We bought our house 18 years ago and it cost $116,000. That same same renovated house now is over 700000 I was talking to a, a friend from church the other night. They'd just sold their house in West End almost for $3 million. And I, and I jokingly said, what did you buy it for? Did you get it for like 30,000 pounds? And he said, no, we got it in 82 for 90 grand. But that's a lot of money back then. And it's a beautiful house in a fantastic location. So it's well-deserved. Some of the others that are going up, it's just the specky in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't make sense. But then again, supply and demand. And finally, the follow one from the floods. It's not just the price of homes that is more expensive. A national lack of building supplies is likely to become more intense as parts of the country's rush to rebuild after devastating floods. Mr. McCarthy said while his projects continued, there had been a knock-on effect from the flood disaster. It's already affecting us now, he said. We're probably already delayed a week to get materials. We've already got. It's going to be terrible for 12 months' time. So there we go, everyone. Renovation spending sores. Let's talk about this. This is what happens when you overheat and stimulate a market. That's what they wanted to happen. They wanted to make sure the economy kept moving. The advantage of spending in the housing sector is that the money, well, the bang for your buck from government spending is more effective than almost any other spend. I think it's the most effective, actually, because the money gets flows through the, the economy several times. And that's the point. That, that's what they wanted to happen. This is what they're going to happen. Now, for all of us that are doing renovations or are working in a sector, we're suffering because, well, this free money doesn't do anything. It doesn't really increase our purchasing power. Our purchasing power has actually decreased because everything has become more expensive. You've got shortages of material exacerbating it. You've got shortages of skilled labor exacerbating it. So we're kind of all screwed. So, you know, you can be happy to feel like you're getting something for free, but not not really, guys. <laughs> And it's pulled a lot of projects forward, but there still seems to be demand for people putting into houses. Because particularly in Queensland, houses have all gone up in value. So now psychologically, people are going to think, oh, fantastic, My, I've got you know, half a million sitting there in equity. I might as well borrow a bit of, that, a bit of that and put it into the house to get the new bathroom done or do up that little thing. It's the Australian way, guys. What do you reckon? We'll have to see if it keeps going, guys. Anyway... Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're a fan and enjoy the content I find and put together here. There are a few ways you can help out. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. Or if you need an architect, give us a call. We've got a lot of experience in education, resource, and commercial. Take care. Have a great day. And, well, keep working on those renos, guys. Yeah, it's good, good experience. DIY. If only the banks would let people borrow on their own a builder. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Take care, guys.